Hello YouTube world, this is Alex the Gaming Teacher, and welcome back to my walkthrough of Pokemon Yellow version. As you're watching this video, please give it a like and subscribe to my channel if you've not already. So the first episode, we began our journey, we got Pikachu as our starter, Nidoran, the male, mer the male Nidoran, is uh, you know, who we caught, and we are ready to roll. So let's see, I think... Diglett is going to be the first train of Pokemon. So we're about to enter the gym. There's one extra trainer in the gym. Now there's a couple other things you could do in the town. Like there's like a museum. You have to pay money though to go to it. But I'm just kind of whipping through. And let's just take care of this guy here. As you can see, you don't have to fight him. You could just go right around him, but with all these Pokemon games, it's always very essential just to get as much experience as you can without, you know. Anyways, it's only level 9. I thought it was at a higher level for some reason. Alright, well then, let's see here. Maybe just see how much a Quick Attack does first. Because Diglett does not have good defense. And it doesn't even have that much HP. The attack is not even that good either. The thing that's good is his speed, but you know, Pikachu is fast as well. Right, so that's pretty, that was pretty swift. Alright, but Sandshrew... What did I say I was going to do? Was I going to try to... No, I think we're just going to go to Nidoran right away. It's also level 9. It's got good at defense though. So what we need to do is, yeah. Oi, Karumba, one scratch doing that much damage. Uh, okay, yeah, I should be able to handle this. Yeah, Sanctuary's definitely got much better defense than Diglett. All right, level 12 it is, and double kick. Officially ours. And in the uh, red and blue version, though, uh, Nidoran wouldn't learn double to kick until like the 30s, which is something I never like actually have it happen. I always evolve it into the final form before it gets to that point. But you just like we were seeing with what I did with the Nido Queen in the blue version. Still don't know what I'm gonna do with the blue version, but since the, the first couple videos are still posted as I speak. You know, sign on that later. But basically, once I get Nidoran evolved, I'm gonna wait until it learns like the Poison Sting, which is like in level 19, I believe. And then I'm gonna want to evolve it after that because the final form learns a very strong move at level 23, I believe. But you have to make sure you evolve it before then, because if you don't, then you'll you won't get that chance to learn that move. It's actually going to be one of the final ones I'm going to have. You can probably guess that the name of the Pokemon is Nidoking. King. That's the other one that was a female was Nidoqueen. Queen. Alright, to tell you what. I wonder if I want to just... I think what we're going to do is we are going to start Nidoran. Take care of the Geodude right away. Oh no, I think I said it the other way around, have Pikachu um, you know, give Pikachu some experience here. Is that what I said? I don't remember. Anyways, probably don't really need to save this, but I'll just go ahead and do it anyways. Alright, so, Brock, Pew is gym leader here. Rock type. So Brock is about to get rocked. Uh, let's see here. Yeah. I guess that one kind of, you can kind of tell that's him from the Android series. Still doesn't look exactly like him though. Look at this, Pikachu is actually, it's at level 10 only? I feel like... 
I feel like I was at a different level in the original version. But anyways, when I first played this game though, I had a Pikachu only, and uh, I kept using Thundershock and didn't understand why it didn't do any damage. But as you can see though, you can still hit it with a quick attack, but it's doing absolutely nothing. So with that thing fits enough, we did a couple tail whips. So now what we can do here is use double kick. Yeah, this should take care of it one hit there. And that's it. Now I only got 91 out of that though. So let's see if I want to. Okay, because Onyx here, I know it learns to move bide. Or bind. And the move bind as well, but let's see what it starts off with. Oh, great. It's a tackle. Uh, Alright, well. Just in case we got those potions, so. Cannot let Linder on fate, though. Oh, okay, now it uses it. Okay, but yeah, see, Onyx doesn't have good attack, though, so. I know I didn't learn it has the move Screech, but. Alright, let's see. Yep, okay. It's using that, but. Let's see how much a double kick will do. Oh, boy. I don't know if this is a, this is not a good situation here. What I might have to do is, oh man, yeah, I have no choice but I'm gonna have to switch out to Pikachu. Pikachu's probably gonna have to faint now. I was pretty sure I didn't have more. Def I don't understand. I don't know. Nah, I'm sorry. At least you got a tail whip though, so you helped out, but... I think this is all really intended just for Nid around to take care of everything. So it's using by, but we, sh we should be able to take care of it now. Yeah, two, uh, second double kick, that should be enough. Brock can't use a potion because you're in the middle of the move still. So yeah, a little testy there, but... Double kick. Without it, basically, <laughs> you'd see how tough this would be. The other things you could have done is if we caught a Mankey, um, it could have learned what's called low kick at level 9. But Mankey doesn't level up as quickly, though. Uh, and then Butterfree at level 10 would learn the confusion. Anyways, that's all that's said and done. Alright, and then we're getting the move TM. So a technical machine is an item where you can teach a Pokemon a certain move. But you can only use it once. Yeah, so basically Bide is a guy who just sits still, take all the damage you want, and two turns later you just strike back the enemy with twice the amount of damage that you took. Not really one I'm you know a fan of because it's like you're basically making yourself vulnerable for two moves. As you can see, there's flaws to it. So like with Onyx, you know, it got me just because I... See, the thing now is if I stuck... Well, actually, if I stuck with Pikachu, I don't know, that would have been a little risky then because who knows if I would st still have gotten two double kicks full health if that Onyx used Bide right away. That's why it's always good to have like higher speed. Because if I had higher speed, and if it used to bide, then I would just basically don't attack it at all. And then it would have done nothing. Alright, so now we're ready to roll. Next route. And as you can see, this is going to be just a two-man group here because I only have... Uh, the, I'm going to be catching a psychic type called Drowsy, but we don't see it until... No, almost, almost at the time, the time that we're going to get Squirtle. So it's actually going to be a while before we get our next Pokemon. So I'm curious as to how much... 
How are you even gonna do this? I gotta be smart about, you know, who I use here, and I'm probably gonna have to heal very often, most likely. But like, I know for sure these were Pidgeys. Gotta get Pikachu beefed up now. Definitely like to get the then ran evolved ASAP. Because yeah, in any case that Pikachu faints. Oh, let's use quick attack. I I don't know I don't think Pidgey learns quick attack at that level, but that never hurts though. The a finishing move. As you can see, Thundershock is what I'm gonna use most often. Quick attack. It's actually decent. Because you know Pikachu's attack power. It's actually not that bad. Oh, that's speaking of it, I didn't even use quick attack. Well, yeah, it's fine. But look at this, though. It's like he already lost about half of his health. Yeah, I am mean. Mean green fighting machine. Uh, let's see. I know. I think that's trainer to the. There's a trainer to the right who has a Spearow. I think that one above I'll use Nidoran. This one's a bug catcher for sure. He met me in Viridian Force. It's like, so while I was fighting Brock, he just went ahead. I can't say I remember you since you guys all look the same. Alright though, for Pikachu, since you are not evolving at all, you're just gonna have to <laughs> level up often as I need you to. And now, I know there's an item that's called Rare Candies. Oh look, here's a Weedle. Okay, it's already at this area actually. You know what though, I think I'm going to... This is what I did with the blue version. I used the female Nidoran, or Nidorina. And since they're a poison type, I don't want to take any chances. They can't poison. Can't poison what's already been poisoned. Or what's made of poison. There's Horn Attack, Double Kick, two good moves there, so we just need to get, need to get him leveled up, and they'll be fine. But, what was I saying? Yeah, there's an item called Rare Candies, and basically you can instantly raise a level for any Pokemon. No experience needed. And I feel like I might want to just use all of them on Pikachu, just because, you know, what am I really going to do? I don't tend to usually use them, but this is just a walkthrough, and I'm not catching a bunch of other Pokemon, so why not? Alright, let's... can still go into this one here. I don't want to be healing super often, but... I know... Yeah, shorts are definitely comfy. Easy to wear? Yeah, I would say that as well. There's actually a pair of shorts out for quite a you know, first time in quite a while yesterday just because you know we're in spring I haven't worn shorts too much outside the house and uh yeah they were actually more comfortable than I remember kind of thought they were actually tight on me maybe I was losing some weight but I don't know speaking of which for the first time yesterday went back to campus you know with students on board. Glad to say that this distance learning is starting to come to a close. We're still in hybrid though, so some students are just staying home. Which I totally get it. You know, this pandemic is still not over, and you know, Joe Biden saying, President Biden that is, that is saying that we're not even close to being finished with this pandemic. And that's, you know, that's not pleasant to hear, but Hopefully, though, we're transcending in the right direction. I mean, I know we are, but, like, you know how, like, when the number of cases grew rapidly, hopefully now there's a time where we can decrease the number of cases rapidly. Have life go back to normal. Um, I don't even know how I started talking about this, but... No, it was all about the guide saying shorts. Shorts are easy to wear. Okay, so let's see, 166. I feel like that's a bug catcher. 
Okay. No. I don't... I don't know. Let's see what this lass is then. I don't know if she has a Pidgey as well. The nice thing about Double Kick is that normally in the red and blue version, and there's gonna be like a level 14 Jigglypuff we have to fight. Look at here in like a Rattata as well, so it's like you know, with normal type Pokemon. It's always good to have like a move of a different element. And like Double Kick takes care of them easily. Okay, Nidoran male. Fighting your own kind. Okay, so this one should have horn attack. So be aware of that. Nope. So, questioning the IQ. If I was like the computer, I would have just been like, hey, use Horn Attack. It's much stronger than Tackle. Alright, so we're definitely going to have Nidorino no time here. Be nice. It's always good to be nice. You know what I feel like doing is... Nah. I don't know. You know what? I would just say forget this. I'm going to use Potion. I don't really often do it. I probably won't have to often do it anyways, but just this one time. Alright, I don't know who that guy's got, but actually, you know what? Maybe we'll fight him first. Dang, this is probably not a bug catcher. Let's see. Oh, it is. Okay, well, that's good. Oh, great. Um, yeah, I'm not going to take any chances. I know I have an antidote, but I would like to save that for later, you know. But alright, so that's it though. Pikachu should be able to fight the other ones. I don't think Kakuna has Poison Sting as well, but if it does, then oh well. It gets more experience, I believe. But yeah, Nidor we're definitely going to, because when we fight that Jigglypuff, that'll be up to Nidoran. So there's Kakuna. Weedle's evolved form. Alright. I got it paralyzed. Let's see if your quick attack is strong enough. Always using that Mortal Kombat phrase, test your might. It's always nice though that we only have two Pokemon right now in our party, and that's why they're just leveling up uh, one by one. And like, we don't have to worry about, you know, trying to catch anyone, because, you know, if you have your Pokemon all very strong, then it starts to get a little tougher to having to catch someone in the wild, because you have to make sure you don't have it faint, but you also at the same time want to lower its HP quite a bit. But the next three that we're going to get, we don't have to, uh, what do I say? Uh, worry about it. No, there is one, though. It's like, I think it all depends on, like, Pikachu's friendship or, like, you know, mood. And that could get a little tricky, you know, when you get the Bulbasaur. But uh, Charmander is simple. You just talk to somebody. Squirtle, you just have to defeat Lieutenant Surge. Yeah, so Squirtle's definitely going to be the last one we get. <clears throat> Alright. So I believe this guy's got a level 14 Spearow. Yeah, um, you are right about that. I'm wearing sweatpants. It's still in the morning. It's still kind of cold in the mornings here. So we're not in summertime yet. Really looking forward to it, though. I was thinking I was going to use Thunder Wave at first, but I'm like, no, why, why would I need to do that? See, look, I only need to use two Thunder Shocks. Okay, and that's good to see there. Peck. You know, because you at least minimize that damage just because you know, it wasn't super effective. Or not, I mean, it was not effective. Though, having said that, I think we just continue on the route here. There's only two more trainers. How about that? I just used that one potion. And we are still here. I 
it all has to do with just, you know, Pokemon being at a decent level. This little Pikachu will probably get another level out of this one. Nidoran should be close to leveling up. And now when I think about when we're in Mount Moon, because that's going to be the next area, I'm wondering who... And there's a couple bug catchers. There's a trainer that has grass type. So I just want to be mindful about that. I don't know if there's still that trainer, the one trainer that has like Eradicate, just like in the blue version. But I think we should be fine. We still might have to heal. I know there's gonna be a hiker, but we uh well, there's no Pokemon nearby here. Oh wait, I should I should go back and check if there's like repels. Cause that would be something that would be nice. I don't have to like keep encountering wild Pokemon. So let's just do that. Let's Pikachu's mood. Yeah, I think it has to be like extremely happy or something. I don't know. I feel like I'm doing the right thing though. I know it fainted a couple times, but it's like... Look, you're on a roll still leveling up. The thing I know you have to make sure you do is never ever deposit it into the Poke uh, PC. Because that will lower its mood. And, okay, great. So there is no repels. I'm pretty sure though the next area where we have to go through a lot. You know, a lot of walking in the wild. Should be able to buy repels or have repels. So this is just a waste of a trip. Alright. So we'll start with Nidoran. Now I know you can also at times find repels, you know, just lying around anywhere. But yeah. Okay, so this is the trainer that should have a should have a Jigglypuff relief. It's a little 14. I think you could actually even catch it. I don't know if it's this is the route. Oh no, I think it's a different route. You catch a Jigglypuff, but it's only at level three, it's like further into the game. But it's at a low level. Um, but anyways, Pound, yeah, so I mean, Jigglypuff's got a lot of HP, so that's why it withstood that attack there. Uh, well, Nidoran still did not evolve, let's see, is it close to? Cause we could probably just do it right here. Okay, no, that's fine. Can definitely let it evolve once we get into the cave. That guy's not a trainer. There's no items. No, there shouldn't be any items there. I've played this game numerous amount of times. I'm pretty sure I remember just about everything. Oh well, yeah, if you gotta talk to this dude here, he's gonna give you like a Magikarp. It's a weak Pokemon, but it evolves into a very strong one. And uh... It's not worth it though because you can easily catch one. They're like, like so common to find. They're not rare at all. You just gotta get like a fishing rod. And that's further in the game though. All right. Let's see how we set this up here. So here we are, Mount Moon. Yeah, and like the original, the blue version, I think it was like all purplish in here. But, you know, this is probably the right color for, um, you know, the setting. But this is TM Water Gun, I feel like, no, not yet. I know Nidorino can learn it. And I think I might teach Water Gun to Nidorino. Because no reason to teach it to Squirrel, because Squirrel's going to learn Water Gun anyways. I think this is a bug catcher. Let's, oh goodness. Uh, yeah, Zubat. It's always the most common one that shows up when we're in caves. Oh my goodness. It's like that's something that 
never happens in the future Pokemon games. Not even the second one, I believe. It's like, you literally step in right in front of the trainer. Oh yeah, I think this is not a bug catcher. Oh, it is. <laughs> yeah, they're just all over the place. The bug catchers are invading. You know what's good? I start with Nidoran because... Here we got a Weedle. So I don't have to bother switching out. Something I kind of do not want to have to do because... Um... You know, oh, I guess I could have bought a couple more potions, but... You still have like three at least, I think. Okay, well that's a Kakuna and... Just give Pikachu the easy experience here, because... All it's gonna do is harden... It's gonna try to make itself one hard cocoon. But it doesn't really do anything to you because Thundershock is a special move. Special move, special powers. Alright, let me check quickly here. Yeah, I got you. Got you good. Oh, yeah. You saw Team Rocket. Oh, this trainer, I think, has got Clefairy, so... Um... Oh, man. It would have been nice if we had, uh... Actually, let's see here. Maybe we should evolve it right here if we fight this Zubat. Okay, let's do this, then. Get a Nidorino, then when we fight, it's gonna be like a level 14 Clefairy, I believe. And then, uh. Yeah, should be fine. Shouldn't have any issues. But now that we have Nidorino, then. Should be in good hands. But, alright, so we have it. But what we gotta do is gonna still level it up until. I probably should have checked its stats first. I'm just like in a little rush here, but... Uh, I'm gonna level it up until it learns Poison Sting. I already mentioned that. And it won't be long until we get the Moonstone. But anyways, attack, speed... Pretty good. That's, that was, that's always uh, not a bad combo. Got good speed and good attack. Could be pretty lethal. Alright, let's hope, yeah, if I use the move Sing, it took some damage there, but, you know, I'm not going to say that we'll be able to go through this without taking damage. Anyways, though, I think we'll probably just, should we go down through the tunnel first? I'm not sure. I'm trying to think who the rockets have. I guess we might as well. Because there's actually going to be a TM, I think. I don't know if it's this area where we're going to have like the TM called Mega Punch. It might be, and I think that's something we'll teach to Pikachu. Gotta double check that. Alright, so anyways... I have a feeling it's probably gonna start with the Zubat, so I just, I don't know. That's a Sand Shrew. Yeah, that's... I don't think that was from the blue version. Not at all. Oh, brother, then okay. Well, we'll see. See how this all goes. I think I may have to consider healing just once at least. So after we go through like a certain area, we'll kind of come back close to that ladder we just went down. Okay, Rattata. So any Rattatas go straight to Nidorino. Oh great, though it has quick attack now. Yeah, because I don't want to have to keep using potions galore. It's like... Although you just think about it, it's like, you know... We'll see. Okay, and any Zubats, that's gotta be straight to Pikachu. 
Any flying types, send them to the... This little street rat. I still just like the name Snowden. Use it pretty often. But, you know, if you can't make the Zubat faint, then that's gonna be an issue. We'll just use Thundershock again. I think Nidorino said it already leveled up, right? So... Jeez, only like two more levels? I could probably have a Nidoking before we get out of this area. I don't know if I'm gonna really do that. Oh wait, that's right. I'm gonna see if I'm gonna teach a water gun. Let me just check quickly. Uh, hold on a second. Okay, so what I was gonna teach... Oh, I'm looking at this here. But yeah, I don't see why I'm gonna not use the water gun. Can learn it. I know it's special is not super, but it'll be solid, especially when we get into Nidoking. King. The stats are all gonna be pretty close together. So what we'll do is just take out. Mm, I feel like I should give it a tackle. Um. No, because it's like, how often am I going to use Leer? I think it's a good strategy. The Leer is not a bad move. We can talk about lowering the opponent's defense. Yeah, I don't know. That was an easy, not an easy decision. But anyways. Well, this is an HP up. I think I'll decide later on who I want to use that on. anything here but yeah I was looking at the moves that I was gonna teach final form Nidoking, King and then yeah confirm it so once I get Nidorino to learn poison sting so let's see it's a possibility that I could actually level it up and my concern want to do that because you know trying to take as least amount of damage as I can here. Yeah, I don't know who this guy's got. Uh, so I just know though, because I feel like this guy's probably got electric types. It's a super nerd, but... Yeah. So if I use Pikachu... No, I think he's got another one that's called Voltorb. We probably will try using... Pikachu on it, because you could just use Quick Attack, but Magnemite, I think, has solid defense. Obviously, you know, with Nader Reno, it's more attacks a yeah, strong move, so not going to do anything there, but might as well take the chance. We're definitely going to heal ourselves after these next couple fights. I think the next move Pikachu learns is called Slam. And again, that's one he doesn't learn in the red and blue version. And I will definitely stash it on there because it's not got, it doesn't have great accuracy, but it's it's a powerful move. I think it's got like 80% 80, uh, 80 power. I'm just going to call it percentage because I know there's some moves that are like... They rank the power like over 100, but... I don't know, I know how you describe it. Oh wait. Oh no, never mind, double team. Well, that's actually not a bad one. Alright, so... Tail Whip. Probably more effective to use double team, right? Because if it's harder for the opponent to hit you... That's good, no matter what your defense is, like... So yeah, I remember know that the yellow version, they actually called the Special Pikachu Edition. As you can kind of see, for that reason, it's because it's learning moves every couple levels here. Um, yeah, I got another potion, but I don't know. I'm trying to see here. 
don't know what this guy's got. Who should I have take this guy on? Who should take this guy on? I think the next trainer after this though will be like with grass types. Let's the heck? Okay. Start with Pikachu then. I think we just found a rare candy. I wasn't even really paying attention, but oh it's a bug catcher, okay. Alright, well that works out. Yeah, I mean, it's fine if we don't get the Nidorino to level 19 anyways, because when we fight Team Rocket, this is not a surprise, but they'll have Ekans, Meowth, and Coughing. And yeah, basically Nidorino could take them all on itself, so... Basically, they replace, like, another Rocket. Actually, I think there's, like, maybe two less Rockets in this area. I'm not sure. No, maybe there's just one less. Or, it wouldn't really be one less because they're replacing it, so... Because I know there's still, like, a super nerd that, you know... You get to choose a fossil after defeating him. I'm kind of wondering if there's going to be this Raticate that we have to fight. But if there is, uh, you know, we'll see. Maybe Nidorino can take it on. Uh, there is going to be a hiker, though, with Geodudes. I think I mentioned that, so Nidorino has to fight it. So we'll see. Yeah, we'll see if I even want to just consider sticking around and using those potions. Oh, look at that. We have an escape rope. Oh. You know what? I might actually just... If I do want to go back and heal, I might just use that, because that's going to take me straight to the Poké Center. Where the f Okay, there it is. So it might not look like it, but we're not too far from the area with the ladder. So I think after her, there's like two more trainers that include the hiker. Oh no, and then there's still an area we have to go down to find another rocket. Yeah, so maybe I should just use a potion. Okay, so Oddish here just has Absorb. Should not do much. Just kind of surprised that Pikachu has not suffered so much yet. You know, I'm just kind of being smart about who I'm picking to attack and such. Um, which Pokemon I'm using to fight against which certain trainers. So let's see here. Uh, there's like another train. Oh no, okay, we'll just go to the rocket here first. And I don't know if I want to use a potion yet. Although I guess it doesn't really hurt if I do it right now. Oh, that's right. Now that I have the water gun, I could use that easily on that hiker. Alright, um... Yeah, maybe just use it right now. I'm gonna start off with you anyways. Pulling a big job here. Okay. Ah, great. Because I know one thing is Leech Life is a bug move and I'll be strong against Nidorino. But yeah, I do not want to switch out to Pikachu though because that just ticks. Okay, well. I do not like Supersonic. I don't like any move that makes me confused. Unless it doesn't really matter. Okay, so. Thing is, let's see who's gonna come out next. So it's level 18. It's Ekans. I think we'll just take our chances with Yeah, Pikachu. I don't know if Ekans has a poison sting attack at the moment, but it does. Oh boy. Okay, well you didn't get poisoned. Let's see if 
it stays that way. Oh. Oh gosh, you know, to be honest, I think I'd rather have used Poison Sting. Alright, well, anyways, it's fine. We'll use Quick Attack. Okay, two attacks only. I know the move Wrap sometimes can take longer. Alright, we're gonna have to use. Yes, I am good. Uh, we're gonna have to use a potion for Pikachu. Oh, and there's the Mega Punch. You know what? Now that I think about it, Mega Punch is just as strong. If not stronger, I think it's actually even stronger than the move Slam. And I'm looking here, and yep, that is exactly one move that we're gonna have for Pikachu at the very end. So without even thinking about it, let's just give it to it right now. So you know what? I never use double team. I'm probably never, it's never going to use it anyways. We're just going to do this here. This way, Pikachu can take on, you know, some opponents with decent defense still. Oh, that's right. That Ether was like in that rock there. Oh, look at this. Anytime we see a Geodude, let's just test this out here. white water that was being shot out there, but yeah, easy work. That's a level 11 Geodude, so you can see that was higher than Brock's. I think that's just about the one, the level of the... Anyways, I don't know. I don't know what this guy's got, so let's just... She's gonna still start with Nidorino. I'm like... You know, we'll, we'll try using... Yeah, see, it's a youngster... Rattata, okay. We'll try to get Pikachu into the mix, though. In those last couple of fights, though, because now that it has Mega Punch, it was able to withstand that Ekans, too, so... Maybe I'll have it take on Ekans, or maybe I'll just have it take on the Meowth. And I'll let Nidorino take on the Poison types. Got the Zubat, so I'll let you fight this one. But yeah, I think I'm fine with, you know, just using these potions rather than going all the way back just to heal. Just because it's a lot of walking and a lot of, you know, encountering the wild Pokemon. Losing does stink. I'm just fortunate that, what, what is that? He was showing off to girls. Now with that group you have, Rattata and Zubats. I'm gonna have to actually have to level them up. Alright, there you go though, Moonstone. I could evolve Nidorino right now if I want to. It's actually, uh... Yeah, probably gonna, it's probably gonna happen right after this fight then. This is a Hiker. And look at that, three. So he's got at least three Geodudes. I don't think he would have an Onyx, but maybe I'll use Double Kick on one just to, again, test our might, see if we didn't have to use Water Gun here. Uh, but yeah, when he learns Poison Sting, I'm just going to take out Tackle. See, that's why it didn't really matter. When I was teaching a Water Gun, I was thinking, should I get rid of Tackle or get rid of Leer? Well, it doesn't matter because Poison Sting was going to take the other spot anyways. And, um... Once it learns that powerful move at level 23... Then that's going to get rid of... Probably going to get rid of Poison Sting, though. I don't think I'm going to keep Poison Sting for long anyways. But in the meantime, I'll do so. But now that it has it, we are set to evolve it. And it is an Onyx. Okay, well... Pikachu can't do anything. Yeah, I guess I could say this trainer would be able to def Well, maybe not, because if it doesn't know the move Bide, then Brock could still defeat this hiker. Okay. Feels like you shouldn't be here. 
You know I just cut this short here, but anyways. Look at this. I could just keep leveling up more now, but... No. Alright. I'm just gonna do this right now. So let's actually do something here. I'm going to compare the stats. It has 39, 31, 36, 29. HP of 59. Just keeping that in mind. This is actually never really happened. I don't think I ever got a Nidal King while in Mount Moon. I've always usually leveled it up after, like later on. It's kind of strange because I could have swear I did a file like this before where I just had a Nettle King or, you know, a Nidoran and a Pikachu. But, I don't know. Alright, well, <clears throat> I guess the stats aren't going to be that close to each other, but, yeah. Yeah, maybe as we grow, it'll change. But there it is, final form. And we are going to test... I don't know if there's another trainer here. Maybe there isn't. Let's see if there's anything up here, though. Nothing. Yeah, I can't remember if there, if there isn't a rocket in this area, because that's the one that was like a Raticate. <clears throat> there was a rocket that had just a single Raticate, and it was pretty strong. Okay, there is. And if it is a Raticate, then it's all good, because... Nidal King is ready to roll. Now, having said that though, okay, maybe it's not even Eradicate at all. Yeah, I know they've changed, they change a lot of things. Even with like who the trainers got. Now, I don't know, this Rattata Pie still has to move Hyper Fang, I don't even know, but I don't need to find out. Yeah, so this is definitely not as bad. He has two Pokemon instead, but I think I'd rather deal with this Rattata and a Zubat versus a single Raticate. So that's one thing that they made it slightly easier for us to deal with. Oh man, I'm gonna have to... iPad here is about to die out on me, so what I'll probably do is end this episode. Actually, no, it's totally fine. I could just... Alright, yeah. I think we'll just do that there. So, anyways, as far as the Pokedex, we got four. I know we're gonna get three starters. We're gonna get... What you call the Drowsy... We might have to do a little leveling up, though. We'll see, though. I think it'll still work out at the end. So, thank you guys all for watching. If you enjoyed this episode, then please smash that like button and subscribe to my channel if you have not already. And if you have any questions or comments of anything at all, just put them in that comment section right below. And other than that, I will see you guys all next time.